Welcome to Trans Theories, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, and today we're going to be talking about why does Bumblebee change his look to be more like Stinger? So up until the point when the Autobots storm KSI, Bumblebee has a standard look, even though being an older model of a Camaro. And after this scene before storming KSI, he scans a new vehicle, and we all thought it was going to look like his Darker the Moon counterpart, but with a few added details, but no. Now he looks like a knockoff of Stinger. <laughs> And I find it ironic that he calls Stinger the cheap knockoff because when Bumblebee does not have his Stinger look, the only thing between him and Stinger that are similar is the feet. So the million dollar question is, why did Bumblebee want to become a Stinger wannabe? So let's recap to the showroom scene. So once B drives in and he hears those words on the intercom, he was pissed. And Shane made it worse by saying that Stinger was a better car than Bumblebee. And for this, Bumblebee shows his steering wheel into Shane's nose. And they say he's a good guardian. So once Shane gets out of B, the intercom plays again and this makes B furious. So what anyone else would do if they did not have a stress ball is to do donuts in the showroom. And by doing this, he's putting Shane and Kate in danger because if he would have transformed and Joshua would have walked in, then it would have been over for them. But what I find funny of all of this is, because of Bumblebee's actions, he blames it on the humans for his anger issues. But let's get back on track. Now in this shot, not all of them walked out yet when Bumblebee transformed. And he makes a lot of noise when he does it. So Bumblebee, what happened to being a robot in disguise? Uh, you know, you know, on second thought, B, you did a good job. Yeah, good job, good job. So once B is fully transformed, he confronts Stinger and he manhandles him. After this, he listens to the intercom some more and it makes him even more angry. But the key word is old and ratty and you mean ugly. So this blows off Bumblebee's topper and he kicks Stinger down to the ground. So time passes and some KSI employees are about to walk by. So B transforms without making a sound. And I cannot explain this, there is no transformation sound from this scene to that scene at all. Can someone please explain this to me, please? So some time passes after this and the Autobots are making their way to KSI to find out who is behind the killing of Transformers. And during this, Bumblebee finds a fancy new car to scan. And the thing I want to point out here is, look at the effort they did to try to take an old Camaro, changing into a new one. At least it was not as bad as Hot Rod. <laughs> So after he scans his new car, he goes into KSI for the others, and he transforms. Well, what do you know? He looks exactly like Stinger now, from the battle mask to the spikes on his back. And he still calls Stinger the Cheap knockoffs. But still, the question is, why did B go out of his way just to look just like him? Well, if remember those words at the showroom? Bumblebee took those words as part, and he was jealous about Stinger. So if he took his look and adapted it for himself, then he would not feel as bad. And that's basically the reason why he looks just like Stinger. Well, that's all for this theory. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give a big fat like and subscribe if you're new to join the Theorist Nation. Well, this has been Trans Theories. Signing off. Well, your car was still in the crib.